Well, it's a Denver 7 weather action day for high fire danger across the state. We have meteorologist Danielle Grant joining us once again. And Danielle, a red flag warning still in effect tonight. That's going to continue for the next couple of hours, you guys. So just beware if you're out and about. You'll probably feel those strong winds and the heat, too. Today, we touched 93 degrees out at DIA, of course, well above our average. And look at today's record, 94. It'll hold in the record books. It was last set back in 1911, but wow, was it hot out there. We were in the lower 90s around Fort Collins through Greeley, off to the northeastern plains, 97 in Lamar, as well as La Junta, upper 70s and even into the low 80s up in the mountains. So we've been watching the red flag warnings and the higher fire danger across truly much of the state. Today, certainly well above that average. Again, we should be closer to about 81. We'll get there. In fact, possibly as soon as tomorrow. Current conditions outside right now still holding in the upper 80s here in downtown. The winds out of the south about 20 miles per hour and the humidity values have been just so low today. We're looking at the red flag warning lasting again a couple more hours along I-70. Folks included in that along the western slope, parts of the northern mountains through the foothills here in Denver and then stretching off to the eastern plains. Good news is we have a cold front on the way. That's going to allow our temperatures to cool off and we'll also see the winds subside quite a bit. But potentially as early as right after sunset. There is that area of low pressure. It is sitting and spinning across parts of the Intermountain West, Montana, Idaho, even looking at a little bit of light snowfall. As that front digs into the state, that's going to bring us a much needed cool off after our 61st day at 90 degrees or above. Tomorrow is going to be a refreshing change for a lot of us. Tonight, partly cloudy. Our temperatures falling into the upper 40s, low 50s here for the metro area off to the eastern plains. Just a bit warmer, but look at all these 30s up through the high country. Kind of a nice change and certainly a little taste that the fall season might be right around the corner. As we look ahead toward tomorrow, we'll start the clock at 6 a.m. So far, so good. We might have to contend with a little bit of smoke out there, but the winds will not nearly be as strong as what we all endured today. No storms in sight, just a few clouds out there, and you can still see that stream of smoke coming from the wildfires burning in Southern Col uh, California, pushing across Colorado. This is tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Still a little bit of smoke across the I-25 corridor and it will linger throughout the afternoon and into the evening, but the worst of it kind of pushes off to the northeastern plains. Heading out the door tomorrow will be in the lower 60s right there around 8 a.m. Heading out to lunch if you're going to be sitting out in the patio, low 70s, so quite the change from where we're at today. Lower 80s on the docket for many of us here for the metro area. Still pretty hot around Lamar and Springfield with highs in the lower 90s out there. 60s and 70s yet again up in the high country, but a little cooler than where we were at today. 80s pretty much up and down the I-25 corridor and then the heat rolls on just in time for the weekend. The sunshine is back both Saturday and Sunday. We'll be tracking a few storms on Monday, a better chance for us on Tuesday. And look at that, we have 70s. We just have to wait till the middle of next week.